Gemini. Welcome back to my channel. Give me one second before we get into your new love spread. All right. Sorry about that. Can you tell me about this person that's coming towards Gemini for new love? What is this person like? What is this person like? Can you describe this person, this new love interest for Gemini, please? Thank you. Ooh, my hair is a mess, honey. Uh, I don't know. They could be an Aries or they could be a Libra. They could also be an Earth sign, too. The Eight of uh, Pentacles was in reverse, but the first two cards that came out is Justice and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This tells me that this person has been done wrong before, and they are, they could be like in a victim mentality, like, I don't want to do too much, I don't, you know, I don't want to get my feelings hurt. This person could be very skeptical or very like scared to put in a certain amount of work in the beginning of y'all connection because they don't want to be taken advantage of. So this person has been used and abused in some kind of way prior to meeting you. And they may try to get reciprocity and get compensated from you, you know, when you didn't, they may want you to pay for the sins that another person committed. Hopefully not. Let me um get some more. Yeah, this person is kind of, they're kind of, they're only going to open up so much, Gemini. I got more earth energy, Capricorn in particular, with the four of pentacles, and I got the sun in reverse Leo energy. Due to some, you know, disappointments in the past, you can meet this person where they're in a the phase of rebuilding their life in some form, whether it's finances or it's their confidence. And I feel like they're only going to open up little at a time. I don't see them completely closed off, but I don't see them being much, much vulnerable. It's, you know, I don't see them being vulnerable either. And it explains it because the Queen of Swords, which is more Libra energy, is at the bottom of the deck. Whether this is a man or a woman, Gemini, this person has been hurt. They want to love, but they have not gotten out of their head yet to, you know, let their guard down and just let the chips fall where they may, you know. As they get to know you, though, with the Three of Pentacles, this is like learning a lesson, working together. As they get to know you and spend time with you and interact with you, they will eventually open up to you. But it's not going to be instantaneously as soon as y'all meet. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah. One more card, please. Yeah. Bottom line, though, they're going to like what they see. And they're tired of being by themselves. Hangman in reverse. They are tired, but they still got some things that they need to learn. This person may need to do some more healing and do some more inner work and reflecting before they completely open up to you like they should and like they want to. Because with this three of pentacles showing, this lets me know that this person does want to, they want to try. Makes me wonder what toxic motherfucker was they with before they got with you. Because damn, this person's been burned pretty bad. I'm just going to tell you that. What does, uh, what else does Gemini need to know about this new love? What else does Gemini need to know about this new love? They could be a Scorpio. They're going through a dark night of the soul, rebirth, death, cycles, struggle, power, taboos, yeah, transformation, renewal. They're going through a, they're, they're, they're learning a lot of spiritual lessons. They're discovering who they really are, you know. Yeah. 
what is this? Surrender, go with the flow, let go, move on, rest and recuperate. Let fate take its course, not the right time to take action. But it's in reverse. So a part of them is going to act prematurely in this connection. It doesn't mean that they're a bad person, but it's like they don't trust themselves. They don't trust themselves. They are so afraid of failing. Whoever this is, this person is terrified of failing. They don't want another failed relationship. They're going to go through a phase where they're going to have to forgive their past. It says forgiveness, contemplation, reflection. I just talked about this with the hangman in reverse. Revaluation, introspection, introspection, revision, changes are required. Keep trusting all is not lost adjustments. You're, you're meeting somebody that is capable of loving you to pieces, but they are still broken in a lot of ways. So get this person space. You may want to start off being this person's friend. You may want to start off just being cool with this person. And over time, they will eventually, you know, open up to you. I wouldn't put my eggs in one basket for this person, but I don't think that they're a bad human being. I just feel like if you were to go all in with a person like this, a lot of y'all will waste your time because they're not going to be as ready as you are for love. But they will be, just not exactly when you meet them, not as soon as you meet them. What advice do you have for Gemini pertaining to this new love? See from a higher perspective, be open to healing information, and be brave and honest. Take intuitive messages and choose your path, you know? Ignite your passion. But it, I would be very cautious having sex with somebody like this. I would take my time. I wouldn't even be thinking about having sex with them because that's going to confuse things. They're going to love being with you intimately, but they're not, they're going to have trust issues. They're going to get they're, they're this type of person that if you move too fast, they get paranoid, they get scared and they start thinking the worst and shit get go downhill at the, you know, from there. So I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Be still slow and steady with this person and keep your options open. Trust your intuition. Be honest with this person and be open to healing information and share that healing information with them. And that's going to help you see this whole connection from a higher perspective because your person may be, you know, uh, naturally divine, right? But vibrating on a low frequency due to some unfortunate circumstances that happened prior to meeting you. So... And we all go through it. We all have had our ups and downs. But I hope that this helps. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later.